Hello everybody, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we start playing Baldur's Gate, a game from 1998. I wanted to play it for a long time, I knew of it for a long time, but somehow I just never started playing it. So we wanna start playing it today, as of right now, and I hope you join me for the journey and enjoy it as much as I hopefully will do. Um, I already created a character to so we don't have to go through the whole character creation process. And let's just take a look at my character and yeah, okay. So um, I have a base stack of 20. I think that's what everybody starts with. Um, all right, so this is the more interesting uh, screen, I guess. A strength of 19, dexterity 18, constitution 19, intelligence 10. We don't need to be that intelligent. Wisdom 10, and a charisma of 12. Uh, I chose to be a fighter thief, just because that seemed to be a really nice combination. Um, backstab with really kick-ass fighter skills. I really like that. And I decided against dual classing anything just because uh, my goal is to play with the same set of characters through Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. So dual ca classing would mean playing the full Baldur's Gate 1 with the one uh, type, so a fighter, a mage, a thief of something. And then the first part of Baldur's Gate 2 actually as the second class and I don't know, I, I don't think that's the, the right thing for me to do as a, a first-time player. I don't know the intricacies of everything. So I figured multi-classing would be a more fun and, and just uh, overall more interesting, more realistic. Because, you know, who is a fighter for like, I don't know, a bunch of years and sons be like, oh, never mind, I'm going to be a mage. Just kidding. So we're still level one on uh, on either uh, both fighter and uh, thief. I just uh, basically started the game. I didn't do anything yet. I just created the character and saved right afterwards. So how about we just uh, walk around and talk to people and see how all that works out? Mind you, this is the first time I am playing Baldur's Gate, so. Please excuse anything that I rarely mess up. I try to, you know, be reasonably competent. Please let me know if I miss some something major, something that, you know, really would break the, the story if I forget doing that or would get me into major pain if I, I would just, you know, skip over that. But after that, don't, um... Oh, oh, goody goody. I've gone and found you first. You're the word of Gorion, no doubt. I am, what can I do for you? Oh, our enquete shall be quite simple for you. Plainly put, I have made my mission to end your life. Success will mean a little respect among my peers. So you see, you can do very little, except die. Well, I don't think we will accept this. Um, so I said that at the side of an enemy or the beginning of the battle, I automatically pause. And so I just, um, I think I just stab him in the face and uh, see how we, we go with that. And nobody's hitting. Everybody's missing. Great. All right, so we defeated him. Very, very brutally. And we will get a... What is this? Oh, we can see it in this menu, I guess. So, um, what did we just get? We got a... Typical dagger. Damage 1d4, piercing, speed 2. I don't think it's anything too fancy. How much is your ours? 1d6, so it's, it's a little bit better. So 1d6 means um, it's a six-sided die and you throw it once. So it can be a damage value between one and six. Whereas on the 1d4, we throw uh, dice with four sides once. So it could be a damage value 
between uh, one and four, if I understood that correctly. So let's see what we have here. Um, so when I hold down the tab key, key, I can actually take a look at all the, uh, basically it highlights everything that I can interact with. So just take a look at everything that's lying around here. Oh, some gold. Nothing in the barrel. And this is locked. And I don't think I have, oh, I think I can try to, oh, okay, so, so due to the fact that I am a thief, I can lockpick these things um, without using lockpicks if I uh, seen that correctly now. So that's how we were able to open um, this, this chest. Oh, someone else, Parda. Bardash, you cut yourself above the brow here, there. What is wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me that something is very wrong indeed. Oh, Parda, there was a man in there. He smelled like the stables and he... He tried to kill me, it was horrible. Or should we just... It's like, cool, it's... It's nothing, Parda. Oh, the cats didn't like me petting it. Alright, really. See, so, yeah, what, what kind of guy are we? Are we like the tough dude? They wouldn't admit that something happened to him, but I think we're the guy who would say, yes, yeah, someone tried to kill me, but I mean, we sliced and diced him in pieces. Her then, child. Coop yourself at the inn and go join Gorion, the steps of the library. I had a sense something like this might happen. Well, thank you very much for warning me ahead of time. What do you need? Not. What up, cow? All right, um, let's just keep walking here and and maybe we can talk to these guys here. Thankfully quiet here today, as usual. I hear there are problems outside, though. Something about an iron shortage. Oh, interesting. So here we have a temple. I wonder what we can do here. When temples talk to the priests as you would an innkeeper. They offer an array of useful services and you will often be able to heal your party, purchase specialty items, or identify treasures acquired during your travels. Oh, that's nice. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Priest of Ogma is pleased to see that I've taken the time to pay tribute to wise Ogma. Oh, so basically I can... I can donate and I... Oh, th this is basically a shop, I think. Which I, I can buy spells, so... Okay, I, I think I can buy them putting the spell onto one of my guys, or actually the spell, I don't know, actually. I can donate. Um, I can buy and sell stuff. Um... But he doesn't take my, my dagger, my warhammer, um, so he has no use for it, so he won't give him money for it, I think. All right, let's keep uh, going further and explore the city a bit. Um, we were told to go down to the hey, stairs. Yeah. Shandler. Hey there, Burdash. I see you're up early this day. Well, your father, Gorion, has asked me a strange favor. Seems like he wants you to learn some fighting and asked me to be the teacher. Uh, so I hope you brought your staff with you. Hostile creatures have red circles around their feet. Left clicking within a circle. Okay, she just tells me how to keep kill people after we were attacked by an assassin. Well, thank you very much, Shandalara. You probably should have told me earlier. And yeah, let's just let's just hit him. Oh, that guy's attacking us too. Damn. Hey. Alright, that was easy enough. I just talked to that guy here. Revor! Thought I'd ask you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday already. Hop to it! Get in there! Alright, alright. I guess we clean that out. Nothing in the chest. Let's let's get to the rats. And kill them all. Funny thing is like the other two guys just walked in there and Is it that oh those are cats! So the other two guys just walked in there and like, nah, never mind. We're not gonna touch the rats. The guys, uh, the the cats got it. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right, let's start with that guy. 
and just hit him. And I also have auto pause as soon as a target that I or one of the party members is fighting is gone. So I don't waste time or an attack because it's round based. So that I don't waste times or attacks on just standing around or walking around for no reason because I finished uh, attacking a target. Um, come on, kill the mouse. All right, and you're useless, cat. Yeah, stupid cat. Oh, there's one more. Nope, stay in here. Kill the rest, the last rat. We keep no prisoners. There you go. Death to the rats. It was a simple task. Ah, oh, yes. Kill them like the rats that they are. A glorious battle unlike any of this would ha world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend it all in one place. Alright. Let's keep going. Easy enough. I have a feeling um, battles outside won't be that easy. Hello, child. Wizards, clerics, druids, and bards can all cast spells. Select their cast spell button, choose a spell, and left click on your target. Uh, I don't think I can cast spells. But I can set a snare. Traps. Very good, very good. Talk to this guy. I can take Drizzt with both my arms tied behind my back. It is a good thing we're not called upon to defend Candlekeep more often. I have a cousin in Nashkel that sent word of an iron shortage that is beginning to cripple the local guards. Oh no, that sucks. I should have joined the army. <laughs> Join the army, they said. See new places, they said. All right, let's keep walking. I I think I remember there was a, a task for me from one of the guards. Oh yeah, hold. Hey, kid. I woke late this morning and left my sword in the barracks, barracks before going on duty. If you want to get it for me, it's in the chest at the foot of my bed, on the right side of the barrack, barracks. Quick now, before the gate warden catches me w without it. You also find an antidote there. I think Drepin needs one of those. One for old Nessa. Alright, let's go. Grab his sword. Like I also must have forgotten his sword, considering... He's like, he's the same stuff as that, like wooden, a wooden um, sort of guard or staffed guard. That is pretty interesting. Get one. Soon be gone, will ya? Aye. Gorion asked me to teach you a wit about the finer arts or mass combat before you leave. I can pique your interest with it, Burdash. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it. Good then, child. Just one thing to maintain control of yourself in the heat of battle, but just quite another to maintain one's authority or a group. I would ask Ope the Illusionist to run through a few simulations for you down the storage cellars. Just follow me this way and I'll unlock the door for you. Uh, there you go, let's go downstairs and... Wisdom is only possessed by the learned. Bardash, the gate warden Arist me to prepare a little going away party for you. A bit of mass combat practice is in order, I believe. Well, I'll make it real simple for you. Kenneros, Mordine, Arcanus, Dieter, and Osprey are all going to join your party. You'll have complete control over them, same as you will with anyone else who might join in your coming travels. How do you know I'm gonna travel? Once they'll all join your party, I'm going to summon in several illusions of common monsters you might encounter outside the safety of this keep. These illusions will attack the party and it will be up to you to issue the necessary orders to dispose of them. Remember, these creatures are illusions and they won't be able to hurt you. Try your best to kill them, however, because in the real world, pain, harm and even death are far more real. Some of your comrades will have magic items such as potions and wands. You'll have to equip these in the quick slots for the characters who have them. Some of them also have spells, so you can cast these during the battle. Remember, even rogues and warriors can benefit from the good understanding of these more arcane forms of combat. Every so often I will ask you if you've had enough. If you have, then I shall teleport you back outside. 
If you wish to continue practicing, however, then I shall create some more illusions for you to fight. Are you ready then? Good, here we go. Alright, guys, let's do it. So what do we have here? We have a fighter. We have a cleric. A cleric mage. An invoker. Some wands and darts. Oh, he throws the darts. And, and also can use the wand, I think? Yeah, to like throw a magic missile. And then we have a all of speed. This will increase the movement and combat capabilities of the Im imbiber by 100%. Thus, the movement rate of 9 becomes 18, and the character normally able to attack once in a round attacks twice. However, this does not reduce spell casting time. The raven of this effect is one hour. Um, I think we should just drink it right away. And then we have a potion of healing, which we probably want to put into the quick slot item. So you go to the front, you go to the front, you go here. And then all of you guys just kill him. Just split him up a bit. Focus on different um, enemies. I think we can afford fighting. A uh, you know not. We don't have to focus on one single enemy. I think it will go faster if we do, but we can we can go either way. All right, I don't think um, I want to spend too much more time. Actually, uh, fighting those, like I kind of understood how how to fight, and and we'll deal with um, with the real monsters once we're outside, and actually kill the real monsters. All right. Let us go to the barracks and get the sword we're supposed to uh, bring to Hull, I think was his name. Check all the barrels. It always amazes me that people just leave gold outside in an unlocked chest. I think uh, people are very trustworthy around here, um, even though there are clearly thieves around. And, ah, uh, you again. Carbo says. Hey there. You're going a little well burnt, ya? Yeah, you match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. Um, I guess we say that I am. Do I know you? No, I don't believe you do. I'll not be here long, so it don't matter. You'll not be here long either, so it matters even less. Just thought I'd have a look at you. Pretty face. Let's see what the fuss is about. No matter. I deliver your skull and I'm set for life. Oh, wow. They really don't stop trying to kill me. But let's try to make him pay for trying to assassinate me. Who the hell do you think you are? Better come prepared much better. There you go. Alright, what do you have on you? Just a dagger? Everybody just has bloody daggers. So let's check what's in here. Nothing of value, so we just literally came in here to get attacked by another assassin. So when I click here, I think I, I can read what it says on the sign. I heard shouting, Bardush. Are you right? Um, we can either say he's... He's dead. Where he was? He lunged at me with a knife. Oh, Karn, what is happening to this place? Nah, I think we, we already beat the first assassin. We're like, guys, we're used to this stuff. You know, assassin's coming after me. I'll just chop him to pieces. I got this. So it's, it's better you don't ask questions, Karn. You've instructed and inspired me throughout my childhood. And your heart would break to see what just transpired here. Oh child, you're too young for the life that is being thrust upon you. 
if you be fully equipped for your journey, I pray you run now to Gorion on the library steps, for he's anxious to depart. Uh, we're not we're not quite there, I, I think. So I have to get the sword. And they're guards, so I don't think I should mess with those guys. So I take those and let's say hi. I should have joined the army. Ugh, what a metal night. That hell is just too much. Poor Sap had to go man the gate this morning, too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you, anyways? Uh, yeah. The meta would explain why Hal forgot to put his sword on this morning. Somebody fetch it for him. Oh, that would be mean, renting him out. Nothing, really. I was just nosing about. I was just wondering if you had any errands I could run. Well, that sounds like a reasonable uh, question to ask. Errands? Yeah, actually. I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. If you get some of uh, Wintrop at the end, I'll reimburse you. Oh, very well. There'll be a few coins in it if you too, uh, for, for you too, so you can stop giving me that look. Yeah, you don't want to pay me for my errands? Shame on you. So let's, uh, I guess, go to the inn. And grab some bolts. Is this the end? Yes, this is the end. So what else is around here? Um, this is the priest's quarters. Um, the temple we already visited. I think we were at all of the places that we can actually visit inside of Candlekeep. Uh, short of actually going to the Candlekeep uh, and talking to our dad, that is, I think. All right. Thanks so much for joining me for this first episode. I will hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys come back for the next episode in Baldur's Gate. My name is Shox. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time.